Hello sewing people of the internet. Before I say anything else, this is not a typical video of mine. If you somehow clicked on this video and have never watched anything else I've made, maybe go watch some other stuff, um, unless you're interested in this topic. Uh, but just know this is not typical of my usual videos. If you are a regular subscriber or regular viewer, uh, just know that this is different. And if you don't want to watch this, just go ahead and click the back button now and come back for the next video. This video is a response both to a couple of specific comments that I received on my recent comparison of the Sailrite Ultra Feed to the generic equivalents, um, and kind of a my own commentary on critical thinking. Uh, you know, maybe you will respect my opinion on this, or maybe you won't. One interpretation of this video might be that I'm being a vindictive jerk, and that's fair. But uh, you know, I spend a lot of time making videos and putting myself out there and often I get criticisms and sometimes those criticisms sting a little bit and I just take them and try to learn from them. But sometimes when people are just being jerks, uh, it's hard to keep my mouth shut and I'm not going to this time. So all that said, uh, if you're worried that seeing me being a bit of a vindictive jerk is going to make you not want to watch any more of my stuff, then just maybe come back to the next video where I'll have more exciting sewing content, hopefully soon. On the note of uh, more sewing content, I will admit I've been in a little bit of a lull recently, partly because uh, I'm getting ready to move my entire shop into another space and I've just been busy with other things unrelated to the channel that have taken up more of my time than usual. Uh, there's light at the end of the tunnel. This seems to happen from time to time where I get busy with other things and have to kind of step away. But I do have tons of stuff planned. I've had lots of uh, suggestions for videos and some of those are going to eventually make them into the rotation. So please bear with me. The other reason why I haven't been able to do much sewing is everybody knows that in order to be inspired to be creative behind a sewing machine, that sewing machine has to be white. If it's any other color but white, it takes away from your ability to be creative. And since I've never really owned a white sewing machine, I mean, I guess the Bernitas are kind of white, but I've never really used those. Uh, so that would explain why I've actually never been able to be creative or make anything with my sewing machines because they're not white. Hmm. So the main purpose of this video is to respond to what started as one comment and became a bit of a debate in the comment section between me and the original commenter. And this commenter did the same thing that a lot of other people have done in previous videos about this exact topic and it really annoys me when people do this and it's part of a bigger problem that I kind of see in our society in general and that specific issue is that they make a claim a specific claim and then when asked to provide any evidence any support for that claim besides just the fact that they claimed it they have none um, and I'll give you an example of the kind of thing I'm talking about. So this might be a bit US centric. I don't know how well this will translate to other countries, but I think you'll get the idea. So Coca-Cola and Czech Cola, which if you're not aware of it, is a generic uh, soda that is similar to Coca-Cola, uh, but clearly not identical and sold for a much lower price. Uh, to the casual observer, they're both the same product. They're a brown, uh, carbonated, sugary beverage. It wouldn't surprise me if you did a blind taste test between the two if a lot of people couldn't tell which one was which. And many of us have had the experience, I know I have, where I've been at a restaurant drinking what I thought was a Coke and then finding out it's actually a Pepsi, a different brand. But, uh, you know, just a brown, sugary, carbonated beverage sometimes just tastes like another brown, carbonated, sugary beverage. So one could make the claim that Coca-Cola buys Czech Cola from the manufacturer of colas and then puts a Coca-Cola label on it and sells it. That's a plausible claim. Anybody who's ever tasted the two of them will know that that's, at least that's not true. You could still argue that Coca-Cola buys Czech Cola and adds an ingredient to it or somehow changes it to make it a little bit different and then sells it as Coca-Cola at an inflated price. That's a plausible claim. 
However, for that claim to be taken seriously, anybody making that claim would need to provide some sort of evidence to support why they believe that. Now, someone could say, well, hey, you know, I've tasted Coke and I've tasted Czech Cola and, you know, Czech Cola tastes as good to me as Coke does and it's cheaper, so it's a better purchase. Okay, that's a completely viable opinion to have. The same can be said of Sayorite and the generic machines. Someone can say, and many people have, hey, you know what? I think the generic machine works just as well and it's cheaper, so that's the one for me. Totally appropriate for you to make that decision. That's not the same as saying that Sayorite buys these generic machines. I don't know if you can even see it. I'm pointing at the one that's off, probably off screen now, but I have one over there. So the claim that this commenter and many others have made is that Sailrite buys the generic machines and then paints them, puts their other improvements on them, jacks the price up by a bunch, and sells them. That's no different from saying that Coca-Cola buys Czech Cola and then puts their label on it and sells it, or adds an ingredient and sells it. That's a plausible claim. It's possible that Sailrite buys off-the-shelf generic portable walking foot machines has them painted in their color, adds their modifications or their improvements, and sells them. But it doesn't have to just be plausible. There needs to be support for that claim. Sailrite claims that they don't do that. They provide evidence on their website, ways that it could be proved that either they are or they are not. All one would have to do is to buy one or more of the generic machines and a Sailrite and take them completely apart and see if there are differences in the casting that Sailrite claims are there. You know, or you could somehow trace the origin of Sailrite's machines if you had some way of uh, reviewing the documentation uh, for their imports or uh, somehow identifying what factory they're produced in. There, it's possible to find that information. I don't know how to do it. It's not possible for me, but it is possible that someone in the world could prove without any question that that's what's happening. But no one has. All they've done is say that they think that's what's happening, and when I ask them how they know that, they call me names or make up other things that have nothing to do with the conversation. As soon as I challenge this particular commenter to provide any evidence for his claims, his next trick was to tell me how bad I am at making YouTube videos and suggesting that I'm a clown. That's obviously ridiculous. And I'm leaving the commenter's name out of the video. You can probably find the comments if they've been left up, uh, but in the event that maybe they don't want to be identified and they want to take their comments down, I, I don't want to name them in the video. He here's the thing. I don't care if people agree with me. I could be wrong. In fact, I like when people are able to prove me wrong because that means I'm learning something new. I don't want to tell people great things about any particular product if they're not true. Uh, I don't want to recommend things that aren't good. And I don't know everything. Uh, however, I don't like baseless claims and I don't like people making claims and then uh, insinuating that they have more information but refusing to tell it. It's, uh, as I said in one of my replies, it's the playground tactic of that's for me to know and you to find out. I don't have time for childish nonsense like that. In, in this particular circumstance, and it's happened other times too, this commenter mentioned that they've done the research on this. Um, if there's a Cochrane review of multiple studies of uh, double-blinded clinical trials about whether or not Sailrite machines are the same as the other portable walking foot machines on the market. I don't know where they are. In fact, I'm going to go out on a limb and say I'm pretty sure that none of that exists. Uh, that's not really a hot topic of study. So I don't know what kind of research you've done. In fact, when I asked this person about their research, they said that they watched a YouTube video. Uh, that's not research. So to, to criticize me for not having done the research is kind of silly. For the record, I made it very clear, actually, I've made it very clear in every video that I've ever done about Sailrite products, but especially in the particular video that these comments were on, made it very clear that I have a bias. I've received freebies from Sailrite in the past, and I like Sailrite. My bias is towards Sailrite. So yeah, you should take what I say with a grain of salt, 
and you should listen to other sources who have other information, which you should also take with a grain of salt. If I had purchased my first Sailrite and for some reason didn't like it, I probably would make videos saying that you shouldn't buy Sailrite products. You know, that could have happened. As it turns out, every experience I've had with Sailrite has been a positive one, so I tend to speak positively about them. And again, I said this very clearly in the previous video, I only have one generic machine that I can use as a reference that I bought used from a thrift store. I don't know what brand it is. I don't know how old it is. I don't know anything about it. I just know that that particular one is kind of a piece of junk and it still worked. So uh, I, I can cite anecdotally multiple instances I've seen on multiple forums and multiple videos of people who have had bad experiences with the generic machines and I have heard from multiple people who have spoken highly of the generic machine. Uh, at the risk of overstating this, I want to be specific about one part of this particular person's claim because it's slightly different, kind of, in one respect. Um, this person claims that Sailrite took an existing design made in China and rebranded it. And, by the way, uh, I may have been responding if you're watching this video person who made this comment um i may have been responding to that slightly incorrectly because i may have interpreted that because of other comments as saying say right buys those machines and rebrands them puts a label on it but it's the same machine if that's not what you were saying i apologize for misinterpreting what you were saying i still take issue with the rest of your comment but so, did Sailrite rebrand an existing di design made in China? Yeah, kind of. Uh, again, I, we already went over this, but I'll just repeat it again. As I understand it, if I'm not being misled, Sailrite licensed the design from Thompson. They both produced the machine, and both were produced in Taiwan or China. It's kind of the same thing. Um, and then, when Thompson's patent expired, Sailrite continued to produce it without having to pay license to Thompson because they didn't have a patent anymore. And at that point, as I understand it, or sometime after that, they made some casting changes and other improvements that hadn't been made yet. So if that's what you are saying, commenter, then okay, yeah, that's basically correct. Um, it, it, it's kind of worded in a way that I interpreted it dismissively, but maybe that's my interpretation. So there's that. So I'm I'm attacking the the statement that's been made by if not this person again if I misinterpret it but other people have said that they just buy Rex or Reliable or whatever machines and put a label on it paint it blue or whatever uh, so to take that claim seriously then you would have to believe that a Sailrite lies on their website in plain sight for anyone to see in a way that could be proven. For really, I, I'm not sure what the purpose of that would be, but, but you have to believe that they would just completely lie. Um, and then, if you're, if you're saying that they're buying the same machine that you can buy, and then turning it into a sale right, then you also have to believe that they're taking off several components that do require some labor and some time to remove, the, that being the stitch length and reverse lever, and the uh, where the hand wheel attaches so that you can use they could use their posi pin system um, that would require some time and some labor uh, so let's let's say that that claim is true let's say they just buy the machine from a factory ready to go and then they let's assume they even have it painted for them but then put on these other components isn't that still adding value to the machine? Isn't that justification for it to be worth more money? Whether you think it's worthwhile or not, that's that's a different story. But, you know, they took a thing and made it better and then sell that thing. I mean, you know, labor isn't free and parts aren't free. So even if that were the case, it's still not the same machine anymore because they've made significant changes to it. That, that some of the, I mean, that stitch link lever is... A huge improvement. That's why I sold my Thompsons and got a new sale right because that stitch link lever, the old one, is terrible. So you have to believe that sale right lies and goes to the trouble of changing all these parts uh, to to believe that they're buying 
off the shelf machines and just painting them and putting their parts on them. Anyway, I, you know, I think this horse has been beaten to death and yet I know that someone is going to comment on this video with the same nonsense and have no support for it. But um, again, I'm not trying, I keep pointing at this machine, you can't even see it, but I, I'm not trying to uh, defend Sailrite. Uh, I, I like the guys at Sailrite to the extent that I've spoken to them or had an email back and forth with them. I've never met them. I've never been there. Um, you know, I, I would quickly switch to being a Sailrite basher if someone were able to conclusively prove to me that they have uh, misled me or are doing business in a, in a way that I can't support or whatever. Like, I still like Sailrite and I still praise them publicly because I, I don't have any reason to believe that they're not doing things in an upstanding way and I believe they make a very, very good product and yeah, it costs more and I'm happy to pay more for a better product and some people are willing to pay more for a better product, some people prefer to pay as little as possible and, you know, bargain hunt. I'm also that kind of person, but... Um, I find the prices that they get for their machines to be reasonable for the huge improvements. All that said, this this has nothing to do with whether or not Sailrite makes a good machine. This has to do with whether or not you have evidence to support your argument for whatever it is. So, just my personal advice, if you are making a claim about something, before you make that claim, think about how would you prove it? Uh, and if you don't have any proof for it besides you just know that it's true, maybe keep your mouth shut. I really appreciate all of you for watching, even if we disagree. Uh, disagreements are great because we can learn from each other, and I'm open to being shown that I'm wrong, so even if you disagree, please let me know what I'm doing wrong. If you do like this video, please click the like button. If you don't like it, click the thumbs down button. That's totally fine. Uh, if you got something out of this and you want to subscribe, if you're not already, that'd be great too. Got more sewing videos coming up. Uh, if you're watching this in real time, I am in the middle of moving, so it might be a little bit before I'm set up again. But there'll be more sewing content coming, and I apologize for the content of this video if it wasn't your thing, but I can only take so much. I'm only human, and uh, yeah, sometimes I get annoyed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.